one uh, kid that I saw, he was about 17 years old when, I, when the parents brought him to me. He had been healthy, great student in school, he was uh, big on sports, uh, and kind of overnight, as the father said, it was like somebody threw a switch, uh, this kid changed dramatically. He's having rage attacks. Now understand that this kid is the sweetest, really loving, wonderful kid, but he's having rage attacks. Rage attacks where he has done thousands and thousands of dollars of damage to the house. Interestingly, he never attacks a person, but he's put his fist through walls, he's torn uh, plate glass windows off, <laughs> he's, he's done a lot of damage to the house. Uh, but he also developed an eating disorder and body dysmorphia. He starts picking on his body, he's constantly starting to lose weight, he loses 10 pounds, he loses 20 pounds, he loses 30 pounds. At that point, his pediatrician had decided that the problem was um, obsessive compulsive disorder and body dysmorphia, so they hospitalize him psychiatrically and uh, nothing is working. They then uh, brought him to me about six, eight months later. As I'm taking the history, what I'm hearing is very discreet episodes. These rage attacks, these issues where he can't walk for periods of time, uh, this regressive behavior that's going on in him. Um, and uh, so I said, you know, this sounds more like seizure type events. Uh, and we see this in the pans pandas population. He's old, but let's find out what's going on. So in checking him, what we found was he actually had Lyme disease. He had Bartonella, Borrelia, and, um, and Babesia. So he had three bugs uh, sitting in him. But on the Cunningham panel, he's off the charts. Uh, so the dopamine receptors uh, are off, the uh, camp kinase receptors are all off. And so uh, we've got a real-time understanding of an autoimmune process going on at the same time that we have the very serious infection. We treated him for the infection successfully. Uh, we have, uh, we're still addressing the autoimmune component of it with regular IVIG treatments. However, the parents have their kid back. He's back attending school. He got his GED. Uh, he was not able to finish high school because he was so sick, but he went back, got his GED. Now he's in community college, uh, and uh, he's back to being his normal sweet self. So this is a success story that we're seeing. And we see a lot of people like this. Uh, but we also see it in the adults. Now, the adults don't tend to show up quite as dramatically in terms of these limbic real instabilities, but we'll see brain fog, focus and concentration issues, difficulty with remembering anything, uh, as well as sleep disorders and chronic fatigue and generalized pain. And when you see that kind of a big picture like that, inevitably you're dealing with an inflammatory process that involves both the innate and the acquired immune system but now what's sticking it off? And so we have to unlayer those things as well. So it's a matter of putting this whole picture together.